What's up? This is HG News. So I'm going to try to upload this on my phone because I reached my end of my data plan for my uh, new wave. 84% and more. And from yesterday and soon it will be charging fees if I go over 100 gigs per plan, you know. I'm in this month or so, whenever it goes into effect. Up to fifty dollars. So if your data plan is three hundred and you go over a hundred of it, you would ask the old new wave a hundred, like ten dollars extra for your internet bill. And we're going to have to uh, insert because my sister is the one that's probably using it the most because I had the associate look at the new wave before you look at the internet usage, the most peak during the week was Friday through Saturday. Those two days, and that's when my parents are here with Anna streaming, uh, they're streaming movies. Anna's playing her 8, 9, 10 hour on, online with the Xbox One that's eating up the bandwidth, I guess. I don't even know, but updates, things like that around here that needs to be updated constantly without me even knowing is hogging the data plan and sooner or later I'm going to, have to pay up for the SS data that my allowance has that I want over. So it's costing me a lot eventually. The best option is to go up ten dollars get the 200 megs which will bump down the data because it's higher speed. But there will be a 600, 600 gig data plan, which I can really, I just hate data plans. That's why I hate data plans. My sister is a gamer who doesn't really care. She streams online with her friends, even up to 2 o'clock in the morning. And that just eats up bandwidth. And I wish I had a meter that would tell me how much that one Xbox was using or that TV because it would help a lot but you know parents rules could have saved me a lot of money you know trying to I only went one time over the data plan in May and this year this month maybe again so there's only a couple gigabytes I mean it wasn't as bad but it would still count as excessive a data usage and they could actually put fees in there that I technically do not want to pay and plus if I we they if they decide to up the plan they have to wait two months because they're upgrading their speeds to one gigabyte a second one thousand megs which will bring down the pricing of the other packages the other plans for internet so we
I thought, but the affordable care that they ain't they ain't used to do that. Apparently, it's changed since then. I got a thing in the mail asking for my health information. We never filled it out because I was just lucky enough. And I don't want to give out my information. I don't feel trustworthy. Have these people? They don't. I don't feel trusted for those people. I don't trust them basically. And they could deny me, and then I have no insurance, and I pay more than I make in a month on, they could keep me, or they could actually deny me completely, or charge a very high amount, which I think is still legal, through the Affordable, Affordable Care Act, uh, Obamacare, basically, that one that enforced them not to do these ridiculous pre-existing conditions, because um, I'm born with a lot of them. And, um, yeah, she had someone fill it out, and they denied her. So, uh, Aetna apparently does not follow the law. And they should. If it's still in use, if the law's still valid, if Trump didn't undo it, hopefully not, but there's a chance it was undone with the, the tax bill he put out a year ago or so, that was so sneaky that it just destroyed the Affordable Care Act as it was, or it protected me like people like me with a really expensive uh, medical. I mean, really, really expensive, like the cheapest medicine I can buy for that hemophilia part, if I do bleed, is a little over $730 per nose spray, which is good for six months, or that close to the scar, you have to sit on the box. And the most expensive medicine, if I really need it, it's it's only if the bleeding does not stop. It's the highest chance of stopping the bleeds. It's the recombinant factor, which is based off units, based off, based off your weight, your size, your, you know, the height of your body, and your factor levels. And it can range from $3 a unit based off of the units that's in the medicine, how many you need. It could be over eight grand, like it was for me and when I was in Barnes. For that first night when I got close to losing my vision my right eye because of bleeding and having a lot of <laughs> blood everywhere in the face but luckily there was no damage that was done to the eyes or anything like that. We had it control and we got it under control after the second time of infusion so which was another four thousand dollars that my co insurance took over from and removed those payments. I don't actually owe money for that. Because it was around the total grant, I don't remember what it was, for the yearly uh, grant I get from from these pretty much solid, you know, Himba Via companies, you know, Creo, all of them, they're good. I've been with the Creo for most of my life. They're nursing, but since uh, it's different here, there's not a lot of nurses in my location, so they have to always leave an IV in for a full week or more because my mom can't stick me. My arm, my arms are really hard to stick. They move. You can't see the veins. Even nurses, high trained nurses who know how to pick and get IV in there, have very hard time with me. With my veins, they're really hard at times. And sometimes they're really simple. Sometimes they're just a pain. But you can barely even do it. It can take another ten minutes or more. So you know, my veins are not always the best. They're not always accessible. At, at the top of my skin, so that's why my mom's gonna probably try. She talked about it last time I had factor infused about getting at your pores and going through it again. She's gonna infuse me and learn how to do it because it's hard, trust me. Even them, your guy's been there for the last 20 years, had a little trouble, but got in eventually. Yeah, the veins they would like to pop, and then and that's after that, it's a dead vein, they, they had to find another one in the arm or somewhere. Yeah, it's been a pain for about the last 28 years of my life. Every time I had IVs in for my whole entire week. Can you imagine that pain for the last 28 years that disease has caused? And I do have pains from the illness when bleeds weren't controlled correctly and they bled overnight because the medicine expired or it didn't work because the hereditary severeness on one side of the family compared to the mild side that I have. Basically, there's a little higher risk of my aunt 
my great aunt Mary Ann had severe form, and it makes me, Dustin, and me at risk. Higher risk than a mild hemophiliac with A type hemophilia. So, yeah, I'm gonna come back on my soda that my trying to diet more. Ate a salad today for dinner, so yeah, could definitely cut down on soda. I was at least drinking at least a couple of liters a day of soda. So, yeah, I'm already losing weight. The, the extra large vest is already getting pretty good. A little too much, that's a little too big, but whatever. It's fine. I mean, I'm losing weight at least. It just doesn't say on the scale. It just shapes less. You know, I'm just losing the weight on the chest area, upper part of the body, which, plus, well, you know, when you put on weight, it's hard to get off, and you eventually fit back in your clothes. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been hard to give up the soda habit. <laughs> but thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment, like, and below. Thank you for watching.